This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey everybody, it's Mark from Team How To. Today I want to show how to remove a background, making it transparent, using only Windows-based software. In this case, Paint 3D is the Windows product I'm talking about. It should come on any Windows 10 machine or newer. Uh, Windows Paint, I have not found a way to make transparency work as a background, so I have concluded that this is the only sane free way to do it for me at least and so what I want to do is take an image that has a background on it remove that for you that way you could use it for things like your watermark for your YouTube videos or whatever it is you need a background for that is transparent so with no further ado let's go ahead and open up the paint 3d program and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Windows key and just type in paint there you go, Paint 3D comes up, we click on that, excellent, and that's how you get to it in your Windows machine. I'll just hit the open button, and I'm going to browse, there we go, I'm going to go into my Team How To folder, and that's, let's go into images, find this one that had the background on it, there you go, this subscribe button, now this is going to be an awesome subscribe button for your for your channel if you're just looking to have one as your watermark and I've got other videos that'll show you how to put that watermark in if you don't know how to do that and so I'll list that up here in the corner and at the end of the video so I'm gonna open that up now like I said this is not very intuitive right now this has a white background what we're gonna do here we're gonna use this magic select tool and if it's a bigger picture and it's got a lot of extra it's a good idea to bring it in as tight as you can, but this is kind of tight already, so no big deal. So then we're going to hit the next button. And what this does is it gives you two options, the add or remove. Anything I hit the add with is going to add what I want to keep on it, meaning I want to add this to my picture, so I leave it. And all I'm going to do is use this brush. You can see how awesome this works. As soon as I scribble on it, it takes it. So I'm just left click and dragging. It's going to get most of it, left click and drag. And it's really smart, so it knows what to do here. And what I don't want, let's just say I wanted to get rid of something, I could hit remove and then come in and it would work the exact same except it would remove it. Now, right now you think maybe we'd remove this, but well, that's not how it works so much. If we wanted to remove the word now or whatever, we could use this remove tool, but in this case we'll leave it. Use this autofill background in place, leave it there, we'll hit done. Now what it's going to do is create a little object out of this part that we've used. There you go, boom. So now we've got this and so all we have to do is drag this off of here and we want to select this and delete it so what we want to do is hit the select tool I'm going to left click and drag just outside the bounds of this and you might see it change color a little I'm going to hit this delete button over here you can hit the delete key also made a slight change I think so I'm going to click off of this click onto this and then you can see I've got the the four-way arrow I'm going to drag this back on Put it back in the middle. So now there's no background on it at all. But there's still one more very important step. We're going to save it, and it's going to be saved a certain way. So we're going to hit Menu, Save As. Come in here to Image, because that's what it is. And then once this gets up and rolling, the important part is we need to hit this Transparency button. And when you can see when that happens, if you know anything about transparent images, you'll know that they all have the checkerboard background. So that proves out that this is going to save it as such. Now, if you were going to use this for your your image that you're going to use on your watermarks for YouTube, it would need to be 150 pixels by 150 pixels. So just for the sake of argument, let's do that. Notice the lock aspect ratio is um, checked. We want to uncheck that if we want it 150 by 150. So I'm going to do 150, and I'll do a 150 here. There we go. Just click off of it. And now it's almost it has changed it a little because the aspect it wasn't a perfect square before but you can see it's not bad enough to matter now all we have to do is hit save here now very important I'm sorry you needed that to say PNG we absolutely need a PNG if you want a transparent background so there you go so now I'm just gonna call this sub transparent trans P how's that and I'll hit save there you go that's all there is to it now I can take that image out put it on wherever I want. In my case, I use this for one of my 
buttons so people will subscribe during the video. It just plays on the video as the watermark. If you need more information on that, again, I'll have that up here in the corner, and that'll be about to pop up here if you want to go check out that video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?